A man possessed emerged from the tombs to see Jesus. What do you want with me, Jesus, son of the Most High God? Do not torture me. What is your name? My name is Legion, for we are many. What are demons and where do they come from? Demons are the spirits of the Nephilim, the giants mentioned throughout scripture. They are the offspring of fallen angels and human women. The sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives, all of which they chose. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. Before the great flood, God commands Gabriel the archangel to destroy the giants. And to Gabriel said the Lord, Proceed against the bastards and the reprobates and against the children of fornication and destroy the children of the watchers from amongst men. Send them one against the other that they may destroy each other in battle. For length of days shall they not have. And no request that their fathers make of these shall be granted unto their fathers on their behalf. The demons are cursed to roam the earth until the great day of judgment. And now the giants who are produced from the spirits and flesh shall be called evil spirits upon the earth, and on the earth shall be their dwelling. Evil spirits have proceeded from their bodies because they are born from men and from the holy watchers is their beginning and primal origin. They shall be evil spirits on the earth, and evil spirits shall they be called. Demons and fallen angels are not the same. For the Sadducees say that there is no resurrection, neither angel nor spirit, but the Pharisees confess both. Lucifer, Abaddon, and Baal are but a few of the fallen angels mentioned in Scripture. Beelzebub, a fallen angel, is the prince of the demons. This fellow doth not cast out devils, but by Beelzebub, the prince of the devils. Demons have risen up against mankind. And the spirits of the giants afflict, oppress, destroy, attack, do battle, and work destruction on the earth, and cause trouble. They take no food, but nevertheless hunger, and thirst, and cause offenses. And these spirits shall rise up against the children of men, and against the women, because they have proceeded from them. The spirits born on earth are stuck here, as there is no place for them in heaven. As for the spirits of heaven, in heaven shall be their dwelling. But as for the spirits of the earth which were born upon the earth, on earth shall be their dwelling. This is backed up in Luke 16 where scripture says that spirits cannot pass the great gulf. Between us and you there is a great gulf fixed, so that they which would pass from hence to you cannot, neither can they pass to us that would come from thence. The daughters of the watchers, female Nephilim, play a role in history and, obviously, mythology. And the women also of the angels who went astray shall become sirens. Sirens appear in the Greek epic The Odyssey as half bird, half women, who sexually lure sailors to their deaths. This isn't far off from the succubus Lilith in Sumerian, Roman, Greek, and Egyptian legends, who is regarded as the mother of all succubi. A born again follower of Jesus need not fear the shadow realm. Demons bow down to and tremble before our Savior. And unclean spirits fell down before him and cried, saying, Thou art the Son of God. The devils also believe and tremble. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Their day of reckoning approaches. For they are the spirits of devils working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty.